Hello and welcome to Screencasts Online. I'm Darcy, and today you're watching a video on Curio. This productivity app centers around research and project planning, allowing you to bring together many different mediums into one working space. For example, on a single page I have a video, a PDF, and a mind map. The video and PDF serve as reference points for the mind map. And in addition, I can add many more types of information to build out my project. We've previously covered Curio version 11 on Screencasts Online, back in 2017. The app is now up to version 26. So with a lot of new features added, we're going to spend the first part of today doing a recap of core Curio features. Then on to what's new. Curio has two different versions, Standard and Pro. We'll be going through the Get Started section, present when you download and open Curio for the first time, where they've included tags indicating a Standard or Pro feature. Standard in red, Pro in blue. You can download Curio either from the Zengobi website or from the Mac App Store. Both are linked below. Both come with a two-week free trial. On the website, they have a full breakdown of the features and pricing for Standard and Pro. You can either make a direct purchase, which includes one year of software updates, or begin a subscription through the App Store, which keeps the app updated so long as the subscription is active. With the app open, we'll focus on the Getting Started section at the top left corner. This area covers a significant amount of Curio's features. I do encourage you to watch our earlier video by Todd, who does an amazing job of working through the interface, projects, and templates. We'll go through some specific pages in the Getting Started section to put the new features into context. I think the best place to start is focusing on the use cases for Curio. There's a wealth of information across all of these pages on how to add and customize, but let's center it around something specific. The area on the left-hand side is called the organizer. This is where all of your idea spaces will live. Documents like introduction about this project and use cases are all idea spaces. Then at the top, we have different sections for the project. Getting started is one section, samples is another, and so on. We're going to focus on the use cases idea space for now. In this space, we have different descriptions of how Curio can be utilized based on your goal. We'll start with the first sentence, writers brainstorm plot and character development. I'll create a new section for this idea space to live in. Click on organizer from the menu bar and select new section. I'll call it examples. You'll notice the folder appear under sections. Make sure it's selected, then create a new idea space from gallery. Again, from the organizer menu. Curio has a few dozen different styles and templates you can use to get started. From the writer's point of view, I want to brainstorm some ideas. So select this template and click choose at the bottom right corner. This idea space has three areas for us to explore. A background image and two figures which is the name Curio gives to any elements in your idea space. Firstly, let's address the cloud at the top left corner. Here I can write my core idea. Now I have this written and I can keep coming back to it or updating my core idea as I brainstorm. I can edit this figure in the inspector, either by customizing the text and formatting the same as in Pages or Microsoft Word, or I can select a preset style to make an overall change. The next figure is our mind map, which we'll be using for the brainstorming. I can select text to edit the content of a parent or child bubble. And create new parents, siblings, and child bubbles by right-clicking on an existing one and selecting from the menu. Or with the bubble selected, I can use the appropriate hotkeys listed on the right. As before, you can change the style of the mind map in the inspector. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week. 
as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.